In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the following problem. The pair of rectangles are congruent and two units long. What is the area of the semicircle? Pause the video right here if you would like to give this problem a shot, and with that being said, let's jump right into the solution. The problem tells us that these two rectangles are congruent, which means they have the same set of dimensions. We know the longer sides of the rectangles are of length 2, and let's say the shorter sides are of length x. Let's also assign a variable for the length of this line segment, the line segment from the bottom right corner of this rectangle to the bottom right corner of this rectangle. Let's say that length is y. Now I've resized the diagram a little bit for the sake of space, and notice that we have formed this right triangle right here, where one leg is x, the other leg is y, and the hypotenuse, which happens to be the longer side of the rectangle, we know is of length 2. Now since this is a right triangle, we can apply the Pythagorean theorem to it, and if we do so, we get x squared plus y squared equals 2 squared, which is 4. Now we can set aside this formula for the moment, and we'll return to it later. Now if we return to our figure, we know the length of this segment is 2, because that's just the longer side of the rectangle. Now let's write an expression for the length of this remaining portion of the semicircle's diameter. Let's say the radius of the semicircle is r, then the length of this remaining portion will be the diameter of the semicircle, which is 2 times r minus 2 minus y. Now here's the interesting part of this problem. In this figure, we just have the top half of this circle. Let's draw in the bottom half and see what happens. So I've drawn in the bottom half of this circle in this maroon color right here. Now let's notice something. If this line segment, that is the short side of the rectangle, is of length x, then this line segment in light blue must be of length x as well. Now notice that we have formed two chords within our circle. We can call the first chord, which happens to be the diameter of the circle, AB, and the second chord, which is this vertical line segment right here, CD. Notice that chords AB and CD intersect at this orange point right here, which we can call E. Because we have these two chords intersecting at a given point within our circle, we can apply the chord chord theorem. I'll have a proof for the chord chord theorem linked in the top right of the screen right now, but essentially what that says in this case is that the length of AE times the length of EB is equal to the length of CE times the length of ED. So in other words, this length times this length is equal to this length times this length. We know that AE is 2R minus 2 minus Y, and that EB is 2 plus Y, and that the product of these two expressions is equal to CE, which is X, times ED, which is also X, so X times X, which is X squared. Let's first multiply this 2R term with the 2 plus Y term, so we have 2R times 2 plus Y, and now let's multiply the minus 2 minus y term with the 2 plus y term once again. So we get minus 2 times 2, so minus 4. Then we have minus 2 times plus y, so minus 2y. Then we have minus y times 2, so minus 2y again. Then we have minus y times plus y, so minus y squared. Now we can combine the minus 2y terms to get minus 4y. And this left-hand side is equal to x squared. Now recall we determined that x squared plus y squared equals 4. And to take advantage of this equation, let's add y squared to both sides, so we have x squared plus y squared on the right-hand side of our equation. If we do so, the minus y squared term on the left-hand side disappears, and so we have 2r times 2 plus y plus negative 4 minus 4y equals x squared plus y squared. We know x squared plus y squared is equal to 4 because we apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle. So what we have is 2r times 2 plus y minus 4 minus 4y equals 4 because x squared plus y squared equals 4. Now recall we're looking for the area of the semicircle here. To find the area we're going to need the radius. So the variable we're solving for here is r. To isolate r, let's add 4 and 4y to both sides of the equation, so that I'll get rid of this negative 4 and negative 4y on the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side, we'll have plus 4 plus 4y. 
So now we have 2r times 2 plus y is equal to 8 plus 4y. Notice that we can factor out a 4 from the right-hand side of the equation, and we get 8 plus 4y is equal to 4 times 2 plus y. If we divide both sides of this equation, that is this side and this side, by 2 plus y, we get 2r is equal to 4 times 2 plus y divided by 2 plus y. We can cancel out the 2 plus y term in the numerator with that term in the denominator, and we're left with 2r is equal to 4. So r, the radius of the semicircle, is equal to 2. Recall that we're looking for the area of the semicircle, not the radius. The area of the semicircle is going to be pi r squared over 2. We calculated that r, the radius of the semicircle, was 2. So we have pi times 2 squared, which is 4, divided by 2. So 4 pi over 2, which is 2 pi. So the area of the semicircle is 2 pi. And that's all there is to this problem. Alright, so that about wraps it up for this video. If you enjoyed, leave it a like, and if you want to be notified when I post more content like this, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.